Spark. Would I be name dropping if I said that Brian Cranston from Breaking Bad and Malcolm the Middle grew up here? Well, hey, some people might call that a fun fact, but when it comes to real estate, I love to give you the facts with a little bit of fun. Canoga Park provides excellent value due to nearby Woodland Hills expanding rapidly. You can still get great prices here in Canoga Park, probably the cheapest in the West Valley, but still you're going to retain value and if anything the prices are going to go up really fast here. There are some rough spots, but they're slowly going away. There's a ton of stuff to do in Canoga Park. One of the most important things to do in Canoga Park is the Westfield Mall and the Village. The town of Owensmouth, which is now only a street name, was founded in 1912. Owensmouth was named for the 1913 Owens River Aqueduct's terminus. It started off as an agricultural community and in 1931 the name was changed to Canoga Park. It continued to be a small community until Pierce College was founded in the late 40s and the large aerospace firms like Rocketdyne and Lytton Hughes Aircraft arrived in the 1950s. In the 1960s, the 101 freeway connected the West Valley to the actual LA city, making Canoga Park a suburb of Los Angeles. The growth and diversity of Canoga Park led to it being designated an all-American city in 2005. The first time a community in Los Angeles and not an incorporated city won this honor. Today, Sherman Way and historic downtown Canoga Park is technically the main street of this community. There is live entertainment, restaurants, and antique shops like Retro Relics. In early November, a Dia de los Muertos festival is also held here too. Behind me is Canoga Park High School, the oldest high school in the West San Fernando Valley. The roots here go deep, and Canoga Park has done a fantastic job of adapting to these changing times. Whether you're going through changing times, especially moving, call me, Julian Park. I'm <laughs> <laughs>